the largest benefit of the watchdog is going to be uh, consistent fills in, in small package, uh, whether it be a, a can or a bottle, um, especially on machines that are, are based on a timed fill. And the way that's going to work is your sensor is going to be reading your, your pressure at the bottom of your tank, uh, and you're going to have a regulator on the side that you're going to be able to set much higher than your head pressure, so it'll recover much quicker. Um, like this one we have right now set at 30 PSI and then we have a solenoid valve that actually actuates on and off when you're ready for uh, CO2. So on the machine, you can set a differential in here uh, a little deeper into the parameters. Um, but just for a quick demo here, uh, say we want to maintain 5 PSI feeding our machine, we can set it. Um, you're going to watch how quickly that's going to be able to recover because we are feeding, like I said, with uh, 30 PSI. This tank's gonna take just a little bit of time because of the excess of head space we have in here currently. And last but not least, with the watchdog, you'll also be able to carbonate with it. Um, you can take the out feed of your watchdog and hook it up to your carb stone, which is on the other side there. Um, take our pressure gauge, move it to our blow off arm, and then instead of monitoring pressure feeding our packaging equipment. We're actually monitoring head, head pressure in the tank. Um, so you can set this uh, based on temperature and CO2 volumes targeted and walk away. Thanks for watching our video on the uh, watchdog. Uh, we hope to do business with you guys in the future.